All right, here we go. Now we're supposed to be on some kind of crazy old lockdown. But I don't see nothing different than traffic around here, I'm telling you. And I'm gonna shoot a film all the way up. I've gotta go to the doctor today or I wouldn't even be out. I uh, shoot a film all the way up to Blue Ridge. It's a little foggy out here this morning, but maybe you can see all right. We'll talk about this thing. Look at all them Bradford trees blooming on the side of the road, on the middle of the road over here. They ain't worth nothing but once a year. They don't make pears, they just bloom flowers. I don't know why people put them out, except for that one time a year in the spring when they bloom last about four or five weeks and it's over with. Back to being just a regular old tree. Guess it's good for the oxygen levels though. Gotta plant something out there. They can just do it like this and just have grass out there. So we're headed up to Blue Ridge, Georgia. From LJ, Georgia see my doctor and I got a mask with me if I had to wear one inside I, I don't know yet but if you guys are still with me by then if I don't get tired of holding this thing then uh, I will let you see if there's a sign walk you all the way in the building if I can now, it's about 25 minute ride up there from my house and I'm already 15 minutes so we're getting to it so it's probably about 10 more minutes up to uh, Blue Ridge and, and maybe be 15 20 minute video gonna talk to you about this so look how foggy it is out there I'm gonna talk to you about this um, honey badger what Tom Rue calls a honey badger uh, what's going on? I guess you can call it what it is now. Everybody else does. And uh, so we've got uh, 25 cases in this county now. And there was none last week. So that's how quick it's uh, it's grown. I was called the county health department and asked about it yesterday. By yesterday, anyway, we had 25 cases. And I noticed when I went by the chicken plant, it's back before I turned the video on, that, uh, and I've got a little bit of a cold myself, but it ain't nothing like scratchy throats or nothing like that. Just, I think it might be having to do with them Bradford pear tree blooms back there. There's a lot of there's a lot of blooming going on right now in the month of March because it's so warm out here. It's uh, it's uh, 65 degrees already, or 56, sorry, I got that backwards. It's 56 degrees this morning, so it's pleasant. Pleasant for me in Georgia, you know, it's not that bad. Uh, maybe should have put on a little jacket, but I didn't. I did not fool with the jacket. This little highway is kind of, ain't that much traffic on it, so maybe some, somebody's staying at home. Yeah, there's Lake Blue Ridge up here. We won't go past it because it's not on our way. A little bit out of the way. It's a nice little lake. Got trout in it, too. We are in the mountains, believe it or not. It seems like we're not, but we have quite an elevation right here. It's probably a thousand foot above sea level. Right up there on the left, if you can see that, it's an auction house. They auction out cars and stuff. Can't see it very well because we're about to go into a big blind here. show you a little bit of things on this highway. It's called Highway 515. Uh, 
it's a gateway to uh, get up to North Carolina, I guess we'd say. And then go all the way up to Blairsville. When you get to Blairsville, there's another highway that takes off towards uh, Andrews, North Carolina, and uh, also Hayesville, North Carolina. Hayesville first, actually. You get over in the southern lane, it looks like people's coming pretty quick behind me, so. And I'm running 70, so. Anyway, let them go if they're gonna come on. Also up here on the left, <laughs> Believe it or not, we got the Bigfoot uh, Museum. <laughs> well, they see Bigfoot around here a lot. There's more Bradford trees. Bradford pear trees. But they see Bigfoot a lot around here, so they decided they was going to make them a few dollars and make them a museum. They got cast of his feet. We're all over the U.S. people seen Bigfoot all that good stuff, so. I've never seen Bigfoot myself. Yeah, I don't believe there's a Bigfoot. Some boys from Georgia, though, one time, they got a gorilla suit, and they, uh, they froze it. They put water in it, put it in a big old giant cooler and froze it. They said that's how they found it in the river, it's froze. And, and he got away with it for about a week till it thawed out, you know. <laughs> kind of hilarious. This old guy right here, he sells a lot of antiques. There's something else. Let me see if I can get a good shot of it. I mean, he's got everything you can believe out there. Anyway, I don't know if you got a good shot of that or not. But that's who that was. Getting behind a pokey up here, so slow pokey. So I'm gonna have to go around his butt. That was a decorated up truck right there. Kind of a boring ride, I know. But anyway, let's talk about the uh, virus. I, I was just wondering, how long do you guys think this is gonna gonna go on? You got any thoughts on it or ideas? Leave them down in the comments so I can read them. And next time I do a little video, I'll talk about that too. But we're supposed to be on a community by community. Uh, quarantine and you ain't supposed to gather with a lot of people and stuff around here. He said, I'm in the mountains. But I don't know if that's being observed really well. Can't tell you really. Anyhow, it's uh, it's around, uh, it's still a you know, dark outside with all that cloud coverage and that fog we're running into. But, uh, I need to get me one of them sticky things and stick it on the dash. As a matter of fact, I think I have one and I just haven't gotten it out lately. Right down here, on the left is the Bigfoot Museum. I'll try to slow down just a tad bit before we go through there. Yeah. It's the, it says camping right there. Let's see. Oh, this is Cherry Log is what it says. This is on the way. But if you look right there, it's the Bigfoot Museum. If you can see that. <laughs> it's funny. Bigfoot. Well, now it's getting a little bit of traffic in, but not much. It's usually a whole lot more now. Going up this way, I'm going to switch hands because that one's getting tired. Anyway, we ain't been
but 10 minutes into it, and I still got a good five minutes to get there. So about 15 minutes from town.
Got the lake here in the mountains. See the mountains back there in the background. I don't know if you can or not. We're on a mountain, but them's the higher mountains up in there. Like the higher Sears. The Blue Ridge, though. stop right here for a second at about 15 minutes and I think what I'll do right now since I'm stopped at a red light is pause it and when I get up to the doctor there's look at that truck how they got it all it's a granite truck they put granite in it's got it all what you call it I'm gonna hold this for a minute here we are at the River Stone. I got my mask. River Stone uh, Medical Center. Quite a big place. It's just all doctors and stuff like that. And uh, I'm going to walk in. See if they'll let me film in here. And if they will, they will film. That one. Anyhow. We're uh, going to see my doctor. If he's here by now, then see what it says. Attention here. It says, please put on a mask and tell us. If you have traveled to China, Iran, Italy, Japan, Korea, recently have been in close contact with someone who may have or has been confirmed having no coronavirus in the last 14 days and look at that thing opening up, have the following symptoms. So I don't know if I have to wear it or cover and cow. So put on a mask or don't, I don't know. I don't know. They want me to, I will up there. I guess it says skylights at usually the time. And some sun. Nobody else wearing masks. So I don't think I'm gonna put mine on. Anyhow, I'm gonna cut it out now. Y'all have a good day.